mistake. Yes, it's happened before and it's happened again this time in Bihar. The local Malvis have now decreed the couple be divorced. Prabhakar Kumar reports. Alcohol, anger and three words. They have turned into a deadly cocktail for Akhtar, separated from his wife and children for the last 20 days. Akhtar's mistake? In a fit of alcohol, he shouted talaq three times at his wife during an argument. Unknown to them, this was overheard by neighbors. What was a domestic squabble is now being settled by the villagers. Akhtar and his wife say they want to stay together, but the local Malvis have decreed them to be divorced. And Islamic law says for them to stay man and wife, Shakina has to marry another man, stay with him for at least four months, divorce him and then marry Akhtar again. The local clerics are determined to ensure the divorce is enforced. These three words spoken in a drunken state has played havoc in Shakina's and Akhtar's life. And future of their married life no more rests with them, but with Islamic clerics. Who will now decide? whether a wife should be allowed to stay with her husband or not, or can children have their father back home. With Sudhir Patel in Vaishali, in Patna, Prabhakar Kumar. In fact, that's what the State Minister for Building and Construction, Munazir Hassan, also says. He says that clerics have the final say in matters of talaq. Look, this is a whole thing of the law, the law, the law, and the law. And the law of 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 the law, वो बात ही जो उस मामले में सनद मानी जाएगी। So will Akhtar and Shakina be divorced? Let's find out more from our Patna correspondent Prabhakar Kumar. He's joining us now live from there. Prabhakar, you've spoken to some clerics early in this this morning. What do they have to say about what the Sharia particularly lays down in this regard? Yeah, Nana, there is a clear divide as far as the opinions of Muslim clerics are concerned. We had a Muslim cleric, Mr. Hoda, as a guest in the morning, and he, he maintained that the law of Sharia does not allow, does not actually force uh, the husband and wife to, 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 be, to be separated, actually, and, and they, 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 they can be allowed to stay together. But again, we have heard uh, the, the opinion, the reaction of uh, Mr. Monazir Hassan, the union, the minister, the minister of building construction here in the Bihar, government of Bihar. And he is of the view that what the Muslim, the local clerics, of the village are saying he actually is siding with them. So the clear divide among Muslim intellectuals here and sadly Monajir who holds such a high post in the government of Bihar is, 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 is kind of going with the local cleric and, 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 and basically advocating for, a, for separation of husband and wife. Right, so yeah. the, the one minister in the Bihar government along with some local clerics believe that this, this couple should not stay together anymore. The couple there wants to stay together. Who do they now listen to? Is there another authority in another person they can uh, turn to now? Yeah, precisely. There is a there is authority in Patna. This is called Imarate Sharia. They have usually have a final say in such kind of incidents. And Munazir Hassan uh, is is one associated with that particular Imarate Sharia. So there is all the possibility that even Imarate Sharia could again side with the local Muslim cleric and Munazir Hassan and and could actually uh, play a doom for the future of uh, the husband and wife here. Prabhakar Kumar, there. Thanks so much for joining us. And now here's a job with almost no pay. But that's not stopping people from lining up for this particular job. That's right. Every corporate